name is Parker Bankson. I'm from Texas. Uh, I've been based out of Costa Rica for the last 13 years. And we're fishing on a brand new Viking vessel, the Team Galati 66. Uh, we're fishing in, in waters that are range from 2,000 uh, down into 6,000 feet of water. Uh, but we're looking in the, and for us, it's in the top 400 to top 1,200 feet of water is where we're looking for the balls of bait. Uh, we've had Chirp on board uh, with a brand new vessel. We did a delivery uh, from South Florida to the canal and back up to Costa Rica on the Pacific side. Uh, we've fished three days on the boat there and, and had some pretty good success with it. I've definitely seen some advances in, in, with the new Chirp technology over, over the old school. Uh, we're happy with the, the drag that the, the unit puts on the boat is minimized with the fairing blocks. The resolution on the screen is, is very good. You can, pump it, you can pump it down in the salon on the TVs or anywhere throughout the boat on iPad. So it's a pretty neat piece of equipment to be able to push it around. We're using it totally trying to mark uh, balls of bait. It's my uh, objective to have the chirp on board for where the sailfish and marlin will be feeding. Something that's a, a factor in determining where we're going to move the boat and, and position ourselves and to, to get some bites out of a ball of bait. Uh, we're trying to make decisions on where the fish are at and where they're feeding and to get a little wider beam and be able to scan a, a larger area will we'll tell we'll determine whether you need to be turning left or turning right and that can make the difference at the end of the day. If, you turned right and that fish was there, it can definitely change your day.